Hi, today I'm going to do a 60s makeup look. It's a trend which comes around again and again and again. I noticed that a lot of designers have taken inspiration for next season from the 60s. It's a trend that I love and for me it's always in style. So I thought I'd do less of an authentic 60s and more of an updated 60s. So something that works well for summer and I'm just on my way to the studio now, which is why the surroundings are different and I have a beautiful model today. Her name is Zoe, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with the NARS Pro Prime. Just put a thin layer all over these amazing eyelids. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful eye shape you have. Thank you. So for the first eye colour, a kind of 60s look would really be this matte kind of pale colour, but as we're going for a more summery version, I'm going to use something around here, mix these sorts of colours. And I'm also going to use something which is shimmery. So again, it's just giving that updated, modern version. So I'm just going to dust over all over the eyelid. At the centre there, I just put a, a lighter highlight. So this is just one shade lighter. So I'm going to start with the liner. Now there are so many different shapes of liner in the 60s. It's not really one, when you say 60s makeup, there's the look that is very much takes the eye down where the edge of the liner goes down, the lashes are down, that very round look. And then there is this more sweepy up look. I'm going to go for something which is kind of in between the two. So we're going to go up at the outer corner here, just that way slightly. Once the lashes are on, I can decide where I really want this line to finish. Okay, so now I'm going to use a smaller brush and the brown and the black from the palette. So classic 60s would be a liquid line really into the socket line, which again is quite intense. So we're going to use powder, but to trace that same sort of shape. So when your eyes are open, it's a good time to do it because you can have it be just above the socket line so you can actually see it coming in. And it's really just a complete crescent shape so just close your eyes for me now and then right into the inner corner from there so just map out the shape to start and then taking a fluffier brush but one with a nice almost a point on the end just going to blend that in so I'm just going back in with the dark colour just to get that real round shape going in there. So Zoe, you've moved to London now. Yeah, I moved from here. From Jamaica. Yeah, from Jamaica. When did you move? Um, In late January. <gasps> the worst so, yeah. time. You must have been yes, hating it, it. Dark and cold. Yeah. How did yeah, you cope? I've never been in winter before. Oh, wow. So, yeah. But it's warming up really nicely now. It is now, yeah. yeah. How did you cope in January? Oh, it was awful. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, but, yeah, the, the snow days, the days that it snowed, like, I was really looking forward to seeing snow. Oh. But then, like, when I went outside. Yeah, in the city, it's snow. not so good. Snow's nice yeah. in the country. But here in London, it's nice for about an hour and then it gets really sludgy and dirty yeah. so quickly. It's pretty to look at, but not to be in. Yeah, it looks lovely on the rooftops. Mm. So how did you get into modelling, Zoe? So did it happen to start in Jamaica or here? It, well, it started in Jamaica um, when I was 14. I was asked to come to London to, with an agency. So they scouted you all the way in Jamaica? 
Well, yeah, there was a a lady who had an agency here, but my parents said no yeah. because I was so young. And you were doing at school. Yeah, yeah and Good they definitely... parents. <laughs> yeah, they definitely wanted me to finish school. What did you think so, at the time? Um, were you annoyed with your parents? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So for lashes, I'm using wispies because they're actually longer in the middle. So it gives you that round eye. And I'm using the new quick set glue by Duo, which is fantastic. You don't have to wait for it to dry. And I'm gonna make sure that they go kind of in the middle of Zoe's eyes open. So we get this length right at the center. So it gives this quite 60s, but it's nice and light because they're also they're very wispy and feathery. So it's not too heavy. So while they're settling in, I'm just moving on to base. So I'm just going to put quite a thin layer. Firstly, because she's got great skin, and secondly, because this is more of a summertime feeling. So for concealer, I'm going to use the double wear stay in place. Already done one eye. And then a little bit of pinpoint concealing. So now I'm going to use some highlighter. to add some sheen on the skin. I'm going to do this before I set my concealer. Because obviously I don't want to put it on top of a powdered surface. And actually on top of that I'm going to try a couple of these colours of the Fenty Sticks. I'm going to use a mixture of this coral and the mid-tone colour and just to start to blend into that some blush. It's also still quite highlightery so it's nice and shimmery. And just blend that in so everything's nice and seamless. So I'm just using some powder now to set any concealing. So I'm going back in with the black underneath the eye and then I'm adding mascara just to the lower lashes. So I've done one layer with the separating defining mascara and now I'm going in with a much thicker volumizing one. If you're not going to use false lashes underneath, which I am, you can use the brush, any one like that and just use it to almost stick the lashes together so you get more of a 60s vibe going on. If you just go along like that, you can see it's giving it more of a 60s look. So I'm gonna use some fake lower lashes. I actually got these ones in Japan. I really like them because they're very 60s. And then you put them on underneath your lower lashes once you've got your mascara on. I'm gonna use a clear glue as well. If you use a clear glue, then it doesn't, it shouldn't uh, give you that harsh line underneath. Now I'm going to use this white eye pencil to go along the lower waterline just to give that really wide eyed look. So for brows I'm going to use boy brow but I'm actually using the blonde one because I'm going to do a slightly lighter brow. I mean your brows don't need filling in and I want them to look light and not too dark because mm. it's all about the eyes, it's all about the lashes. You really suit this look Zoe. Thank you. Do you ever wear this out? No, I'm horrible at doing my own makeup. Are so. you? Yeah. What do you do but when you do do makeup? What's your look? I, um, eyeliner, which I'm not good at. Like liquid um, liner? Yeah, yeah, liquid liner. But your um, eyes are so perfect for that as well. <laughs> Thank you. I need to learn. For lips, I'm using a really sheer light pink. And I'm just going to shear it out even more. So it's got that 60s vibe because it's nice and pale, but it's not too chalky. Rub your lips together for me. And then using a lip pencil to shape and define. Next I'm going to apply some bronzer just to warm the skin up and I'm using these great shades from the balm. So I'm going to take it along the top of the forehead, temples, round the side of the face and jawline. And then as a real final 
touch just look that way for me just where the end of this lash is just look up I'm going to finish off this line I'm going to just bring it out there so we have that little 60s double line then it just adds a nice edge to the lashes so that's the finished look I think you're done have a look I love it thank you you're totally different it really suits <laughs> you though